Hey guys, welcome back. lots of shop with me and decorating videos. I also make lots of plus size fashion, beauty, makeup, what's your dinner, cook with me, clean with me, mommy videos, gift guides, all that stuff. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below, as well as turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And if you haven't already, I'd also really appreciate it if you follow me on Instagram, at Sarah England. And today's video is going to be my Easter and spring shop with me slash decorating video. Um, I combined my Valentine's shop with me and decorate video together as well. Um, I normally split them up for like so like fall and Halloween and Christmas time and stuff like that. I normally will have separate shop with me and then separate decor videos, but I don't have as much stuff for spring slash Valentine's Day, so we're just gonna cram it all into one. But I actually really enjoy watching that. I love when seeing people buy things and then taking those things and then decorating right along with them. I think it's really fun to see that. So I hope you guys like that too. Let me know down below which one you prefer. Um, but we do have a little bit of footage from each place I went to. I went to three different stores today. I went to well, not today. I went to three different stores. My mom, we both shopped till we dropped. We went to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Walmart. Um, and there's one little small thing here from Target that was from a separate trip. Um, I always go to Hobby Lobby for my decoration needs. I love it. It's still one of my favorite places. I think the prices are great. I think the quality of the items are great. They're super cute and really on trend and there's so much fun to go shopping there. We went to Michael's and this is actually the first time that I've been to Michael's for decorating. Of course I've been there before for like craft needs and stuff like that, but I've never looked there for, for decorations. I don't know why, I just never really thought about it. I know a lot of people like to go shopping at Michael's, um, but when I was in Arizona recently with my mom, um, um, we went to Michael's for something random and we discovered the like mecca of adorable spring and Easter decor and I'm assuming it's the same way for all the other seasons and the prices were great. So we knew we had to go up when we came back home, had to go to Michael's because we have one really close to us as well and it did not disappoint. I will say one thing, great thing about Michael's is all their spring and Easter decor is 40% off just like Hobby Lobby. But if you go online on Michael's on your phone or if you want to print it off at your computer or whatnot, they have an online or in-store coupon code for 20% off of everything, including sale. It just can't be included um, on a doorbuster or a clearance item. But even though all of this stuff was 40% off and on sale already, it still counted towards it. So total, we got 60% off, which was such a deal and such a bargain. And I loved everything they had. Um, I will say, I still feel like Hobby Lobby's prices are a bit lower already as far as like the item is actually already priced lower than it would be at Michael's and then you already get 40% off so it's kind of like a toss up but I still feel like the deals at Michael's are really really great and I definitely would recommend shopping there if you haven't already like me. Um, but yeah, let's just, let's just, just dive into it. Take care of me And my fragile heart It's yours to keep But it can break apart I'll take care of you And all of your Because my love is here to stay Nothing could chase it away And you, you are the keeper I'm needing to keep all my dreams Keeper of my dreams
section that's really the only spot that I've checked. I've seen a couple of Easter items that I just haven't been super interested in, but as far as this as far as the spring section in the dollar spot at Target, I haven't been wowed. They did have those doors out that I think were actually out for the new year um, that everybody was looking for and I had my hands on one and I put it back because I was like, oh, I don't know where I'm gonna put it and I regret not getting it out because they are definitely gone, but it's fine, I didn't need it. Um, but the only thing that I picked up is this little sign. These were a dollar, so I definitely think they were like a perfect price point and it just says sunny days ahead. I am so attracted to yellows they just make me so happy and life has been rough lately I've had really terrible anxiety problems again and I just feel like when like just down a, 
a, a slope and it's been rough so I just I liked the sign I thought this was sweet I may hang this out here um, or I have like another idea that I may included with that you may see later but this is the only thing that I purchased from Target this year and to be honest I've been kind of disappointed with Target's just a selection variety lately as far as like their actual decor stuff I really haven't been purchasing much from them I don't know I don't know I feel like I like other things better now and they're less expensive Okay, so we're gonna start with Michaels. Just remember that I got a total of 60% off all of the items. Um, I will share you what the actual retail value is just in case you go and they're not having this sale or whatnot, but I did get these all 60% off. Okay, so I picked up a little um, sack of eggs. They had a ton of little egg fillers. I have a really cute little basket um, from Target a few years back and I normally fill them with eggs, but I wanted something that um, was a little more, not realistic, but just a little more toned down. I love that these are pastel colored and they have like all the little speckles on them, almost like they're Robin's eggs. I think they're really cute and they vary in size. They had a ton of different colors, a ton of different um, like metallic and glitter and matte and shiny and whatever. They had a ton of different finishes. These were $4.99. Um, I think that was kind of expensive for the small amount that you get. Um, of course, like I said, these were 60% off, so it really wasn't anything in the long run. But if you were paying full price, I definitely think this is a bit pricey. I feel like you can get a better deal at Hobby Lobby. But I do really like these and I think that they're really cute. I know some people get so annoyed in my videos because they're like, you just say cute for everything. And I'm sorry, it's just who I am. I'm not going to apologize for it. <laughs> it's just what I say. So if you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. I don't mind. But I'm going to say cute a lot. I can't help it. I don't think people realize what it's like to actually sit down and film a video. It may seem like, oh, well, I would never say cute over and over and over again. But when you're actually sitting down and you're trying to talk about an item or something, and you're trying to think about all the different things you want to say and the things coming up and you're on like, you're right like on cue, it's kind of different. It's a different um, environment or ball game than it would be if you're just talking to a friend and describing something. So I will say that. I know some people are like, well, do you know any other word besides cute? But it's like you film. You keep constantly thinking of different adjectives every five seconds when you're showing a bunch of different items. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If any other YouTubers are watching this, let me know if you get called out for using a word too much and people are like, <sighs> Okay, so this next item is a garland, and this was $14.99. They had a bunch of different really, really cute garlands. I feel like their garlands were much cuter than Hobby Lobby's. Hobby Lobby has great, really cute garlands too, but the variety that Michael's had was just way more than Hobby Lobby's, um, and they varied on price. So some of them were like $7.99 upwards to, I think the highest one I saw was like $24.99. So, um, Mine is all tangled, but I decided to go with this really cute little carrot I'm trying to get it to where it shows the best little carrot garland I just thought this was so cute and unique. These are little fabric uh, carrots They did have ones that were like more twine and burlapy. Um, and I just liked the ca carrot ones I thought they were just kind of uh, eclectic and cute and so one has like little gingham print on them and one is a more of like a burlap style um, and they're just so happy and I love using garlands underneath my mantle it is one of my favorite ways to decorate of course you can use this for so many different types of things but um, my mom got some really cute eggs to go an egg garland to go along her stairwell which I think will be really cute as well um, but I love them I cannot wait to decorate with these and I think these are cute <laughs> Okay, I believe this is the last thing I got from Michaels, and it is not something I normally get from craft stores, to be honest with you, or stores in general. I normally order things like this online, but I saw this really cute bunny pillow, and I couldn't say no. I just thought this was so cute and so sweet. It just has a sweet little bunny on it, and all these beautiful embroidered flowers on it, um, in this kind of like a little crown shaped. I just thought this was so sweet. It's really muted, so it's not overly like in your face Easter. I think this will last well through spring. I'm decorating now. I know for some people that's a little early, but technically it is lint time. So I want to get as much as use as I can before it's the summer forever. And then I'm finally ready for fall. So, um, I think this is a nice way to have a spring slash Easter pillow without it being overly Easter. Um, 
this is nice and full you're getting a nice quality pillow it does retail for $24.99 like I said this was 60% off I probably wouldn't have spent $25 on this but I am so cheap when it comes to throw pillows I don't know why like I feel like spending close to $30 on a pillow is crazy to me I prefer to buy pillow covers on Amazon I just feel like you get so much of a better deal and you don't have as much like bulk and space but you know what that is for another day. I do really like this pillow. I think it's really cute and it's going to just pop with all of the other spring decor. I will try my best to link everything below that I can find online, but sometimes things are sold out or I can't find them online. So everything that I can find, I will link below for you. All right, so um, I shared placemats already there back there that I got for the girls' Valentine's. I will probably bring those back out after Easter time, um, but my mom ended up picking these up for the girls at Hobby Lobby. These were $1.99. 40% off, of course. Of course, everything I'm going to show you from Hobby Lobby was 40% off the price that I will tell you. Um, never shop full price at Hobby Lobby. There's no reason to. Anyway, um, but we have both of these little Easter placemats. I love placemats. I think they're great to keep my table clean and they're a fun way for the girls to have kind of their own decorations. A lot of you actually mentioned in my last my Valentine's video that you totally forgot that placemats were like a thing and that they were fun and you were going to go up for them. So Hobby Lobby has a ton of really, really cute placemats right now. We have these ones for the girls that just say Happy Easter. They're super childish and kitty, but it's perfect for them. Um, but they're happy and the little bunny looks happy and it's fun for them to have a little decoration. All right, so um, if you watched my Valentine's Day um, shop with me and decorate or my Christmas video um, decorating with me, you will know that the girls got a little shelf. All of my five-year-old, when she turned five, she wanted a shelf for her birthday. That was her big thing that she wanted. So each holiday that's come and gone, we have decorated it and made it super, super cute, which is so fun for me and it's so fun for them because they get to take part in having little decorations and stuff for the holidays in their room. That is something that I used to love and treasure. My mom still decorates to the nines at her house and it is just something that makes me so happy and I'm trying to, I, I don't know, there's just something about like seasonal decorations and it's just fun. It just adds to your childhood. I don't know. Let me know if you feel the same way. But so to go on their shelf, it's just a basic white black wall shelf. You'll see in the end of this video, if you haven't already seen already, I have these two little bunnies that I got at Hobby Lobby. They're just basic ceramic little porcelain, porcelain, whatever. You know what I'm saying, bunnies. Um, and they're just super sweet and really, really cute. They have flowers on them. They're both little girls. They have a little winged eyeliner or wing or lashes or something, but they're perfect to represent Olive and Eleanor and they'll just go on their little shelf. Um, they wanted these kind of like foam glittery ones, which I know is something that they totally were into now, but I wanted something that was timeless. And as they got older and they had their own place, they could each take their bunny when they moved out and wanted to decorate or whatnot if they survived that long. These were only $7.99 so they were really inexpensive but I don't know they just make me happy and they just think of the girls and I just thought that these were really sweet and perfect for a little girl's room but of course if you don't have little girls these are still really cute and like just timeless classic little bunnies for Easter time so in the middle of that shelf um, the bunnies will be on either side and then I got this cute little sign this was only $5.99 so this is kind of what I mean as far as the prices I feel like at Michael's, this would have probably been like $12.99 and then you would have gotten 60% off. So it would have really kind of equal out, but this was $5.99 plus 40% off. Um, but it's just this cute little sign that says somebody loves you. I think this is such a perfect sign for a little kid, um, kid's room or a kid's bathroom. And this does stand up, which I also really liked. So this is just gonna stand right in the middle of their shelf and then they'll have their little bunny on each side. And I just thought this was really sweet and perfect for their little shelf area um, and inexpensive. And they did have a couple of other signs with different, if they, you had a little boy, I think they had a blue one that said something and they also had a white one, so. All right, so underneath the shelf, I did attach 
three different command hooks um, really nicely underneath their shelf. For Christmas, I hung little ornaments on them, and for Valentine's Day, I hung little galvanized metal hearts with like a little wood heart on top of it. Very similar to this little guy. So it looked just like this, but it was a heart. And I got a pink, a red, and a white one. And this year, they had a pink, a blue, and a white one for the bunnies. I didn't want to do the exact same thing that I did for Valentine's Day, so I just got one bunny. It's a lot more pink in person than it's coming off on camera. It's getting washed out by the light. Um, but this was only $2.99, of course, with 40% off. And these fit really well underneath that shelf area. Um, but I just got one little pink bunny. So instead of getting the other two colored bunnies, I decided to do something a little different, and I got two little eggs. So these are just kind of like paper mache little eggs, and they just have different pretty floral prints on them. I just really thought that they were different and beautiful. I've never seen little eggs. This, I don't know. I liked them. I think they made me happy. Like the Fabergé eggs are always really expensive. Obviously, these are not that, but they just gave me that fun vibe, and I just thought they were really pretty Easter eggs. $2.99 each. Once again, this is such a good thing that they can take off later if these survive it um, for their own home. Um, I don't know whose is whose, but you know, they can pick um, later down the line. But basically, it's just going to hang with either of these on either side of the bunny, and with the bunnies on top, you'll see all come together at the end of this video. But that is the stuff for their room. All right, to finish the stuff that I got for our decorations out here, I will say a lot of the stuff that I will show um, in this video are decorations that I got last year at Hobby Lobby that they still have. I saw them again this year. So if you're looking for those specific things, I will try to find the link to them online and link them below. But there are a number of items that I did get last year that they brought back this year. But of course, it wouldn't be one of my decoration haul videos if I didn't include one of their gosh darn little like ceramic truck houses things. I got the little blue truck with the pumpkins for the fall for Valentine's Day. I got the cute little white house. I missed out on the tree for Christmas time. I should have gotten that one. I will have to get one next year. Hopefully they bring it back. But I got this one for Easter time and it's just a little mint truck with little fun Easter eggs in the back. There's something about these that just brings so much nostalgia back and I don't know why. My mom, we've always done growing up, we had a huge Christmas village of little houses. But also during Easter time she had these like little porcelain houses like this that like had like different, it looked like kind of candy on them and she just put little Easter bunnies around them and I don't know, these houses just make me think of that. Um, and so I want the girls just to remember like, oh, here's the little truck for Easter and here's the house for Valentine's Day and here's the truck for fall. Like, I think it's so fun. I wonder if they'll have any sort of thing for summertime um, during their seasonal stuff. I don't really know if they will, but it would be kind of fun to see if they have like a 4th of July one or something. But anyway, I love these. I think they're so cute. And there was only two left. They did have them in a pink. I just wanted the mint. Um, but these little ones always sell out really fast. I see that in every video, but it's the truth. So if you're looking for them, I would buy them when you see them. Um, these were only $3.99. And then lastly for my decoration, I got this really cute little house. Um, this it makes me think of like a little church. They also had it in the mint color, but since I got the mint car, I decided to get the mint or the pink glittery um, roof on this one. Um, this one obviously shines a bit brighter, but you can see through all the windows. I kind of wish the light flickered a little bit when the house is one, because I think that would be a little bit more realistic, but I still think this is super cute. This was only $7.99. $7.99, $7.99, oh my goodness, $7.99. Um, of course, it's 40% off of that, but I just thought this was so cute. It just, it's like those little ceramic houses my mom had, and I love it. So it makes me so happy and so nostalgic. So I got this little one. Um, this would have actually been really cute on my girl's shelf, but I'm keeping it for myself because it's just too cute and I want it. So I'm keeping this one, um, but I really, really like them. All right, so that is all the things that I've purchased. Let's get decorating. Like I said, I'm gonna bring out the stuff that I've had from my previous years, my Easter and spring decorations from previous years, and I will link everything that I can find on websites now below, and let's get decorating. <laughs>
Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you. Darling you Yeah.